This very hearing illustrates how this parliament has been captured by this extremely wealthy industry with its political donations and its promise of jobs in retirement for retiring politicians from all sides. Now, um, this morning we've, uh, we've heard from uh, the industry. They were given the time to make their oral representations to you in this hearing. Uh, but for some reason, the people who are speaking against it this afternoon are uh, not afforded that luxury and not afforded that time. Now, that is an illustration of how this amendment is trying to be forced through the Parliament uh, to the detriment of the environment, to the, detriment, to the detriment of Indigenous peoples, and, I would argue, to our wider democracy. And that's not hyperbole. This is an instance where one minister is carving out uh, um, uh, powers for themselves uh, from another minister, from another portfolio. Uh, I would uh, ask rhetorically if uh, we will see the Resources Minister perhaps uh, take over some education powers so that they can uh, perhaps uh, remove climate change from the school curriculum because that would benefit the industry. I, I wonder if uh, 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 the Resources Minister might be given some Treasury powers uh, and that will obviously have its own logical conclusion. Uh, this is, uh, well, best described as uh, a bit of a farce and very disappointing. Senator Cox, the rushing through an approval, pro speeding up of the approval process will uh, result in enormous methane bombs being exploded off the coast of Australia. Uh, they will erase any work that Minister Bowen is trying to do in so far as completely erase all of our um, uh, climate mitigation you know, initiatives. Uh, and um, it will open up the gates for even more court challenges.